Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. I was sent the question, hey, can you show your kind of immediate area around the wood boiler? So, I'm not sure what I titled this video, but um, this is how to lay out, I guess, around your wood boiler. We're going to do another video after this that I just thought of where to actually put your outdoor boiler on your property if you're thinking of installing one or building one. But for today, I'm going to show you just the immediate area. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing we're, we're going to cover is what do you need for tools for your outdoor boiler. So first thing you need is a hoe. Now what this would be used for, um, obviously our fire is actively running now, but you can use either your hoe, hold on, let me use our custom doorstop here. You can use your hoe here to move around. You want to agitate the coals. You know, just move stuff around. You don't want the ash sitting here. I use this tool more or less when we do clean out of the machine. So first thing you need is definitely a hoe. Second thing you want, um, pretty much the same thing. I don't know if you want to call this a uh, hay rake or whatever, long hay rake. If you have a round or something that rolls to the very back of the boiler, this allows you to pull that firewood up more towards the front where it should be burning, um, which is a lot easier than using the square hoe. Third thing I keep on hand is a small ice chopper, small hoe here. This allows me, I'm actually gonna build a longer handle for this. This allows me to scrape the uh, creosote off, like around the door, what have you. Yeah, nice. So again, those are just the three tools you pretty much need. Now, let's discuss um, how I lay out my tools and the setup around the boiler. Yeah, let's, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, folks, popping you guys off the tripod here. Um, this is the patio we built. Highly recommend doing this. This is our central boiler CL6048, 6048, whatever it may be, however you pronounce it. But anyways, let's. our door opens to the left. So on the right side here, we have our hoe, our scraper, and our uh, creus. We actually have two hoes. We have a 90 degree hoe, then we have a straight hoe, and then we have a um, our rake or whatever for the coals. Next to it, we have our splitting station. If we need some um, small kindling or we need to split something, we can split it here and then toss it right in the machine here. Next to it is our ash barrels. Um, we have two barrels. The lid for this is inside. Um, I have to go get it. Uh, I was just cleaning up a little bit, but we have our barrel here full of ash as you can see um, from when we do our ash clean outs. We have two barrels. We have a cold barrel and a hot barrel. When I pull the uh, ashes out, they go in this hot barrel. When they cool down, I transfer them into this. We're going to screen the ashes. We're going to get into that in the next video. But then right here, we have our wood rack. Like I said, this is our daily, not daily use, but this is our weekly rack that we have here set up. Um, for big rounds. These are rounds that we're still milking. These are the overnighters. I put these in overnight because um, they're the big, I call them the slow cookers, big fat rounds overnight. Um, behind here, make sure you leave some room for your son to, <laughs> for your kids to leave their toys. Uh, anyways, continuing on, let's go over to uh, this so side. On now. this side of the machine, we have a little kindling pallet rack that we built. Um, I'm not really in love with it. I'm probably going to build something nicer with a little bit of a lean-to off of it. Um, but this is where we keep cut-up pallets. And this is where we keep little pallet sections here that we can throw in. Obviously, I was just cutting some more stuff up, but... Um, I'll cover this in the next video, but this spot here where the two carts are, I'm able to back the truck up and toss pallets off because we can burn pallets in our beast of a wood boiler here. So we have a couple full length pallets, some scraps, some two by fours from various projects there. Obviously the saw is going back in the shed, but this is just the layout here. Um, you want to leave yourself plenty of room here to um, snow blow, to do snow removal here. We have our two two 16 foot sections of fencing here. We have about, um, I think this was nine feet, maybe. We have nine feet in front of us. Um, you wanna leave plenty of room around the machine to get equipment in, to get tractors in, to uh, snow blow. We generally snow blow around the machine. Um, I used to use a tractor, but I've come, I've had some hairy situations where I almost hit the wood burner. So uh, obviously these are some rounds we'll put in overnight later. We've been digging them up from over there. This is kind of the junk wood that we're burning here before the snow flies. But yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much your basic setup 
around an outdoor boiler. Tools you need and things you need to have. Um, one thing to add that I would like to put in is uh, it's good to have a respirator. I have a 3M respirator. It's like a painter's respirator. It's got those charcoal uh, pads on it. So a respirator, you got all your hose and scrapers, your ash bins, a little bit of a wood splitting station here. Again, over there, leave yourself some kindling. This is what I've done for about five years now. Seems to work out okay. Um, again, I'll load this rack up. This is the first year we've done this rack here. I'm constantly changing and moving things around, as you guys know, figuring out what works. But this seems to be generally a pretty good layout. Again, kindling, boiler, we got logs, your ash cans, uh, your splitting station, all your scraping tools. And we keep our respirator obviously in our shed. Um, so yeah. Just a quick little video here for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you want to see something else wood boiler related. But yeah, like I always say, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.